Hi everyone, this is Jenny, and I'm going to um, do a quick layout for the Scrap Our Stash February Challenge. It's the Stash Challenge for the beginning of February, and it's um, SWAC, or you know, sealed with a kiss. And the initials are for um, S is for stitching, which can be machine or hand, you know, faux stitching. Uh, the W is for washi. A for arrow and K for craft paper or some craft embellishment. So, um, 50 percent also 50 percent of the at least 50 percent of the layout needs to be pink or red. Um, so, I have this beautiful um, vellum paper left over from a scrapbook circle collection. It's the kit from January. Um, and I really couldn't make myself cut into it. I, I still don't know whether I'm going to um, use it for this or not. But I've got that. And I've got this paper I've been going through all of our things. All of my things. And trying to get rid of some things. And this was a very old piece of paper. It's from Prima. It's dated 2007. I'm so embarrassed. Uh, 2007. So, you know, what better way than to use up my stash by doing that. So I thought that kind of looked good and toned it down a bit. So that may be exactly what I use for the base. I'm not sure. And um, I've got this paper from the Glitz Wild and Free, which I thought might kind of go with some of the arrow theme. And I've got a neat little stamp from, <clears throat> and by little, I mean little, from Unity that I thought about using on a tag. And some little wood veneer hearts. Um, some other stamps from Ellie Studio in a glassine bag. Um, I cut this from the silhouette, this little Melt My Heart, which I thought would go with my photo. And I also cut this, which I may use for the arrow. Um, not sure about that yet. These are the photos. It was of a um, night when, which we don't ever do, but my son actually kind of started to fall asleep in our bed. My husband was completely asleep, snoring, and... Um, my son had his new little dragon in the bed. And anyway, it was just really sweet of the two of them. So, um, and then I've just got some other little bits and pieces. This is a bit of, I believe it's Dear Lizzie paper. And this is a tear out from one of the old Amy Tan day books. Some of this washi paper. And um, some LA Studio tags. These are the cutouts from the silhouette, which I love to use the negative. So I thought about using that Melt My Heart instead of just that one. And this is another tear out from one of the Dear Lizzie albums that I, I liked. I, I thought about cutting either the whole clipboard bit out or um, just using it like that. And this is a little piece of the So Delicious. Um, it comes as part of the papers and it, you can use it either as that strip or cut these little pieces off. So I thought about using that piece there. And then I have um, lots of uh, red pink glitter tape and washi and twine and for the craft part I was thinking about using either this craft doily or some of these little craft and white tags from my road. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, so that's where I'm going to start. And I um, I don't know what else to say. I'm just going to go ahead and go for it and see where we end up. I'll be right back. Okay, the first thing I thought I would do is to miss these cuts I made from the um, silhouette into either a red or pink. And I actually picked both pinks. I think I'm going to do this. Um, I don't think I'll do it in the lighter pink. This is Sugar Plum by Mr. Hughes. <clears throat> Actually, it's a little bit darker than I thought it was. <clears throat> and this is the Primrose in Color Shine. Actually, maybe very similar. It might be a little bit darker. A little bit more hot pink. I guess, yeah. You can see how much I use gold because this box is primarily gold. Um, and I might. Go ahead. Well, I don't 
missing just that. Maybe I'll just miss a piece of it and see how it comes out. Slide that over. I think I'll do it in that same light pink. Okay. All right, I'm going to let that dry and we'll see where we go with that. I'm sorry, I have a terrible sinus infection, so there will probably be sniffling and coughing and froggy throats. I apologize. Okay. I'm going to cut my pictures up first. And I may cut a little bit of a border on it. I do like that pink side. I think I may have bought it for that side, but that may be just a little bit too girly for um, for this layout with my boys, even though it's lovey. But I did I did like the um, like that text. I thought about using either a strip at the top and the bottom to frame that, or just, um, I don't know. Cut the strip off that. probably going to end up speeding this up because even though I would like to say it may go fast we all know how that goes so um, I'm gonna go ahead and put it into fast forward and uh, talk through some of it alrighty I'm gonna talk through the majority of this that is left and I uh, I'm using that very old piece of Prima in the background, but I have this um, new piece of crepe paper uh, vellum with hearts on it that's really pretty. And my idea was to sort of have the vellum on top and then have it sort of peeling back like the photos and the journaling and everything is underneath it. Not quite like a love note, but so I'm going to stitch that down which is great for the vellum so that's part of the, the S for the stitching and I'm just going to uh, mount um, my photos on a piece of this I believe it's Dear Lizzie uh, from one of the, the books there that color that I just tear out, tear out the pages for and then I've just got a couple little uh, things I was going to do on either side. It was going to be pretty small and tight so I could get the vellum to kind of work out around it. And then those are the, that's a craft doily from Maya Road that I'm, I was going to use as the K for the craft. Those are some other Maya Road uh, sort of nice white, um, not embossed, but just white printed scallop tags in all different shapes. Uh, the a is for the arrows and the W is for the washi which I used I actually had planned to use this one of these washi sheets and I don't believe I did I had cut this out from my silhouette this um, 
melt my heart and I love to use the negative from it too and so I just decided to use both of them and I put the negative part underneath the vellum and then I have the part um, that was cut out on top of it it's hard to see it as much so I think the part underneath it is nice because it has a, a good contrast to it and actually I think I did use that piece did use a piece of that vellum I mean uh, washi paper as a contrast so that would pop out a little bit more and I really fell for this with this for a while because I couldn't decide if I liked the vellum peeling back like that or not this the challenge is supposed to have 50% or more be pink I believe it's 50% or more be pink or red and I definitely fulfilled that and I just love that sort of minty color with those colors and I had this that one itty bitty stamp that was an old unity stamp and I love the little verse it says so I just have all of my sort of itsy busy scraps and pieces that are hanging out on my desk some I had a couple little tags from L Studio little snippets that I cut up And these are the arrows I kind of went through and decided I love these that those um, ways of keeping all my little arrows to all the wood veneers together but if I don't have them sitting out on the desk I forget about how many I actually have um, so anyway those are the arrows I decided to use and I misted uh, them with the white color shine from Heidi Swap and I was really excited to get it I must not be using it on the, I haven't found a great place to use it yet because it really didn't show up that much it made it a little bit uh, more white not quite as blonde but it was it was still was hard to tell so that's a little um, piece of a paper tag that I cut out from so delicious and I just had some old stamps that I never use uh, I don't know why but there was an Allie Edwards stamp and then that little unity one so now I've decided to kind of go ahead and commit everything down and start putting everything together. I went ahead and, and laid that piece of washi out even though you know you really can't see it as much. It, it's nice because it did actually help sort of adhere everything down and it is very forgiving just the same way regular washi is. It's a little bit more cumbersome because it is bigger but it's really not that hard to work with. I, I really need to pull it out more if for no other reason than for this is a that's a great way to have a background on there or a photo mat and I fiddle around with this you know a, a good bit until I kind of get get happy with where it was and I don't believe I ended up using that little camera clip and I don't use uh, any of the flare either. I do use some other washi that you can uh, so, sort of see a little bit of that sticks out behind the vellum. I really like to sort of build the my layers up and then I either put them on pop dots or I just put them down at the same time. That way I usually do the the main sort of building of all of these layers and the photos and everything with like I said either with pop dots or just a regular tape runner that's either removable or I don't, I don't really adhere it that much and then I usually put the entire thing down with my um, big tape runner which is very permanent and very hard to pull up without tearing everything and I just wrote a little bit of journaling about this night uh, with my son and my husband that and they fell asleep in the bed so I'm trying to get that vellum to look right I love that vellum it's so pretty and I hate to I just hate to cut something like that up into too small of a piece so that's honestly that's really why I did it for that way I'm not really sure whether it looks quite like it's being torn open and that's what's underneath obviously it would see through it but that's the general premise and I thought it would be the perfect scenario to have a lot of stitching which I use anyway but but 
that's the best way to use stitching for uh, adhering vellum. So I'm going to glue those little arrows down. I couldn't find a place for that flare. And these are some of the washies I pull out. I cannot remember. It might be Freckled Fawn that that little sort of brown washi with the cam different cameras on it is from. But I love it. It's one of my favorites. And then another piece of um, a lot older collection from October Afternoon that has the days of the week on it. And that's honestly, that's just really for color. I thought that would help kind of pull some more of that color up. Okay, as you can see, I went ahead and, and went off camera and, and sewed around the edges and sewed down the the negative Melt My Heart title part and the positive one and did a couple other little bits. My sewing machine is behind me and it's it's hard to, it, it would be hard to video, so I do that off camera. And I just, I believe I used some just little bitty mini glue dots there that I've rolled up to put underneath that vellum. You can't see it because it is rolled. I had thought about stitching that op part open, but that again kind of went against my thought of of keeping it um, like it was sort of being unwrapped. And I believe that is pretty much it. It's pretty simple. And uh, I, I mean, I'm pr pleased with the way it came out. I love the colors. I actually used another one of those same photos. And then I put some more, that's some of the color shine, which again, you can't really see much of. I think it'd be obviously very powerful on a black. And that is my India ink that I love. And my husband pointed out that I got a, a little bit right there on his chin or cheek. And uh, he thought everyone would think it was a big mole. So here's the close ups. And there is the final product. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and go check out the challenge and all the rules at Scrap Our Stash and I hope to see everyone participate. Thanks so much. Bye.